Uh, let's take a look at reports. Uh, with the program up and running, if you click over on reports, you have three choices here. Prediction report, prediction report with scores, and team standing. One thing about reports is it's typically the prediction reports are based on the last time the prediction was run. So in this particular case, if you look game day 119, assuming the predictions were run for that 119, your reports will be in the system. So let's take a look. Prediction report, you, dub, you, you click. And the report page will come up. A couple of things here up on top. You can certainly send it to the printer. You can export. Notice you can export it in various formats. Uh, PDF being a popular word, rich text, and so on. Um, now, of course, let's say if you're going to uh, export in PDF, you would click, hit OK, and, it, you know, you can decide on what range you want. I'd obviously export it all. And then you'll get a chance to uh, find your directory that you, your subdirectory or directory you want to put it in, and then you would save it. Uh, you can change the, the font. Right now, it's defaulted at 94%. You can look at 200, of course. The report gets a much larger, but 100 is good. Um, when you look at the report, you can see the the two team matchups that you'll have. Uh, here's New York against Boston. Notice uh, total points. Uh, wins, losses, there's a Pythagorean theorem number, uh, and then you have uh, your um, team points. This is the prediction points, 14, player points, 78, against team points at Boston, 14, player points, 109, with the variant. And when you see red with the minus sign, that's going to mean that the away team, in this particular case, uh, the Bruins have uh, an advantage, and the program is predicting them as the winner. Uh, and that's when you see the variant. This particular uh, border around the team is, is saying what team. Like here, uh, you got uh, the Flyers. You've got the uh, border around the Flyers, the home team. So the left column is your home team. The right column is the away team. And uh, you have some... Uh, some stats about the team, right? Streaks, um, the last 10 games, what do they look like? And if the uh, Vegas spreads were parsed and available, they'd be shown here on the right. What else? Um, you can obviously go through and cycle through pages. In this case, this report has four pages. You can, you can bring up a search. Let's say you're looking at Toronto. Find that. And it just so happens that it's on the last page uh, of the report. So that's how you'd use that. This uh, expert text, you can play with that. I wouldn't worry about it. I would just use the generic text search within the report. Uh, so that's it for um, the prediction report. You can um, go under here for prediction report with scores. So if the game day of the 19th has been completed and you parse the scores, uh, and then the, uh, the scores would be shown here on the right. Okay, like uh, the home team uh, was... Um, let's see... Yeah, the home team scored one against the away team. So in both these cases, it looks like uh, the, the predictions were pretty good. This one here uh, with the Flyers, uh, looks like Chicago beat them, even though the program uh, had uh, the Flyers up on top. Okay. And what else? And then you have a team standing report. Uh, just giving you a bunch of stats. Uh, on the various teams and the rankings. And of course, you can do the same thing uh, with all the reports.
Okay, so that's uh, reports in a nutshell.